I'm Lonnie Quinn. Well, today it's a cold one out there, 27 this morning up to about 39. It's a brighter portion of your day to begin with, but by the end of the day, it could be a little late clipper system coming through with some light snow, light, especially north of New York. The FBI is joining the search for a stolen painting being called a national treasure. Investigators say a 200-year-old portrait of George Washington was taken from a storage facility in Englewood, Colorado. They believe it happened the night of January 10th during a break-in. How Elton John is opening his home to the public and more legal trouble for the tech world. Here's Chanel Call with today's Money Watch. Stocks rebounded Wednesday as investors hope for interest rate cuts in the spring. The Dow gained 151 points, the Nasdaq was up by 203, and the S&P 500 gained 47 points. New York City is suing tech giants, alleging social media is fueling a youth mental health crisis. The suit was filed by the city, its schools, and the public hospital system, and blames the companies behind Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and YouTube for harming children, disrupting learning, and draining resources. The tech companies responded to the suit, saying they have and are continuing to develop policies that will make the app safer for youth. And more legal trouble in the tech industry. A new class action lawsuit has been filed against dating apps Tinder, Hinge, and Match. The suit claims the apps encourage compulsive use through intentional designs with game-like features that lock users into a perpetual pay-to-play loop. The company behind the apps has not commented on the suit. And here's your chance to see and buy some music history. Sir Elton John is auctioning off more than 900 pieces from his former Atlanta home. The sale includes everything from stage wardrobes to cars and even photos he's collected over the years. The items have been set up as an exhibit at Christie's Auction House in New York. It's free and open to the public starting February 21st. That's your CBS Money Watch report for this Thursday morning. I'm Chanel Call, CBS News, New York. Thank <music> you.